In this video, you'll learn how to design and edit a pop-up form in MailChimp and add it to your connected site. Pop-up sign-up forms help you connect with the people who visit your website. You can use the pop-up form editor to design and customize a pop-up form to fit your brand. And even add a specific offer or discount to help grow your audience and boost your sales. Once you publish, will automatically push the form code to your site or provide the code you need to connect to your site. To access the editor, click Audience to navigate to the Audience Overview page. If you have more than one audience, click the Current Audience dropdown and choose the one you want to work with. Then, click the Manage Audience dropdown and choose Sign Up Forms. Select Subscriber Pop-up to customize your pop-up form. In the editor, we can navigate between three menus to design the form – Style, Layout, and Settings. In the Style tab, you can choose the fonts for your headings and paragraphs, font colors for headings, paragraphs and labels, and font size for your form. In the Layout tab, Choose from one of the five pop-up templates to appear to people who visit your site. Here you can select a template with the image alignment and style options for the field labels and buttons that fit your preference. If someone views your site on a mobile device, a banner will display in place of your pop-up form, and viewers can tap the banner to see the full form. If your audience has GDPR fields enabled, the Layout Selector will indicate which templates support them. Click the Settings tab to control how the pop-up will appear on your site. To change the overlay opacity, adjust the slider to darken your website when the pop-up appears. This will help draw more attention to it. In the Display drop-down menu, choose when the form appears to people who visit your site. Keep in mind, that the On Exit Display option shows the form when site visitors move their cursor away from their current tab or window and is only available when your site is viewed on a desktop. Next to Show MailChimp Badge, toggle the slider on or off to add or remove the referral badge on your form. Finally, under Position, choose whether you want the pop-up to slide out from the bottom right of the browser window or appear in the middle of the page. Now that you've customized your form style, layout, and settings, you can design the form to complement your website. If you choose a form style with an image, mouse over the image placeholder in your layout and click Set Image to add or choose an existing image from the Content Studio. You can also replace your image or change how your image fits in the content block. Then. Click the header box to change the text and settings for your heading. Your form template will automatically include a field to collect email addresses for your audience. Click the email address field to display the editing menu, where you can change the label as needed. You can also add a description to your field when you toggle on the description slider and enter extra details as needed. If you'd like to add additional fields, Click the plus icon to add each field you want to include in your form, such as a first name or phone number. Click on the form field to once again display the editing menu, where you change the audience field or label, and also choose whether you want the field to be required or add a description. If you decide that you no longer need the additional field, click Remove at the bottom of the editing menu. To reorder a form field, click the arrow icons to move it up or down. Next, click the box with your subscribe button to change the alignment, background color, overlay color, font color, and display text of your button. If you want to add a disclaimer note, you can do so below your subscribe button. Nice! You're almost finished with your pop-up form. Before you preview your design, make sure to customize your success message. At the top of the form, toggle from Form to Success Message. 
Here you can change the format and text of your success message. Once the form is complete, click Preview and click the desktop icon and mobile icon to see how your pop-up form will appear on different devices. When you're satisfied with the form, it's time to publish it. If you've connected an eligible e-commerce store or integration to MailChimp, click Save and Publish, and MailChimp will save your design choices and connect the pop-up form to your site. If you have multiple connected sites, click the Edit link above your form to choose which ones you want your pop-up form to appear on. If you haven't connected your site through our Integrations page, click Connect Site. Here you can choose to click the link to our Integrations page and follow the steps to connect your site, or you can enter your website URL and click Get Started to generate a code snippet. We recommend to copy and paste this code between the head tags on your website. However, the best place to add the code can vary from site to site. So reach out to a developer if you're not sure where to modify your site's HTML. When you're ready, return to the pop-up form builder and click Save and Publish. Nice work! Your pop-up form will display when someone visits your site. If they fill out and submit your form, we'll add them to your MailChimp audience as a subscribed contact. To make changes to the form after it's been added to a site, navigate back to the pop-up form editor and make your changes just as you did when creating the form. Once completed, click Save and Publish, and MailChimp will automatically push the changes to the code on your site and update your pop-up form. Finally, to remove a pop-up form from a connected site, navigate to the pop-up form editor and click the Edit link above your form. Toggle the slider off next to the site you want to remove the pop-up form from, and your pop-up form will be disabled. That's it. You've learned how to add and remove a pop-up sign-up form on your site. For more information on MailChimp Forms, check out our guides and tutorials. Mm -hmm.